everybody this is Diana and today I'm coming to talk to you about well as you've seen in the title of the video um, sensitive skin now I did a video before because I had a little bad reaction to drugstore makeup so I want to clear this up there are ingredients in drugstore makeup that I cannot use it was a comment that was left that maybe it was a little bit something more with my skin that I didn't know about that's making me have these, this bad reaction. I already know that I have sensitive skin and I'm not only talking about just my face, I'm talking about my whole body. I've known this ever since I was a kid. I found it out when my mother bought me jewelry. It was fake. It turned my skin green. I mean my whole skin green and I realized that's when we realized I could not wear any costume jewelry. That's why you don't see me wearing a lot of costume jewelry. Um, these earrings that I have in my ear are 24 karat sterling silver. Yes, I have to pay money if I want to wear jewelry. They're huge. I paid a pretty penny. People wouldn't think sterling silver costs, but they do. As you see, I don't wear too many costume jewelry. If you do see me wearing a pair of accessory earrings, I have to change the hoops, not even to stainless steel, they have to be 24 karat and above for me to be able to wear it. I've always known that I had sensitive skin. So um, I pride myself in um, taking care of my skin, not just my face, my whole body. I cannot just wear regular soap or put on regular soap. I have to use oatmeal soap. Um, I can't just wash my face with anything. It's hard. It was hard at first because I had to find products that suited me. So, you know, due to me having very sensitive skin. Now, when it comes to lotion, I can't just go into the store, any drug store, and buy, you know, all these perfumed um, lotions. I have to have a prescription, which is, uh, it's called... Um, Sarina anti-itch lotion even though I don't have anti-itch it helps with dry skin relieves and absorbs um, cold cools and, and cool excuse me cools and soothes irritated skin I don't have irritated skin but this is pretty good as you can see I had to go to the pharmacy to get this because I had to get a prescription for it, but I did have to pay. As you can see, the price, I don't know if you can see the price, is $9.99 because I can't just use your average lotion. So when I came to you with that video screaming about drugstore makeup, it's not that I can't, you know, I can only use expensive makeup because it's not the, just expensive makeup because the, the department store makeup, I have bad reaction to. I can't wear MAC foundation. It makes my skin itch. I can't use Armani that broke out my skin. You know, there's a lot of other um, uh, uh, Chanel, their um, like their skincare line. I can't wear that; it irritates my skin. The Clinique Three Step Program it literally burnt my face. So, you know, it's from department store to um, drugstore, but really, it's ingredients to drugstore. I can't read every ingredient because the doctor cannot pinpoint which one it is. That means I'm going to have to pay for protocol and testing and to find out exactly what ingredients it is in there. And I can't, who has time to do that? And I don't have no money to pay no scientists to, you know, figure that out. It's just certain things that I know that I can't use from the drugstore and certain things I can't use from the department store. Now, what I do is I have a real like obsession with trying to keep my skin as clear as possible and that's because when I was younger my mother she used to really you know be into makeup a lot that's how I really started getting into makeup was watching my mother put it on in the kitchen she liked the the fluorescent lighting to put on her makeup and she used to be real critical about me and my sister washing our face taking out the blackheads and everything and when we didn't wash our faces she would surely pop us upside our head you know and it just bothers me sometimes when I go into like a makeup counter go to a makeup counter especially at Mac you know that really pisses me off every Mac store I've ever been to I'm tired of going and see the girls with 
look like they the before picture of a proactive commercial. It's disgusting. And then they have all this makeup power on top of that. Take care of your skin. I'm not saying that my skin is perfect. But I try to take care of my skin as much as I can. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I'm not going to go and just run out because they show this advertisement. I'm going to stick to what I know. So there's only two products that I use on my face. One is um, Neutrogena Clean and Clear Extra Gentle Cleanser. It's um, fragrance free, dermatology um, re recommended, adds back, adds back moisture every time you cleanse. It's a gel, it's not a gel, it's a, um, it's like a milky, I'm going to take it out so you can see, see, see it's like a milky, and I use this. Now to exfoliate my skin, I take a couple of pumps of this, pour salt, yes, regular table salt in my hand, mix that together and I use that to exfoliate because I don't use a separate exfoliator because I don't know or want to try out the because it's different ingredients and in exfoliate and that's putting extra stuff on your face which I don't want to do. And as to moisturize, I also use Neutrogena All Free Moisturizer for sensitive skin. This is what I use. And th this and this, that's it. I don't put, I don't use no extranger. I don't use anything else. And as you can see, my skin looks fairly decent. I'm not saying it's perfect. But to me, I do not not feel comfortable walking outside without makeup. Like some people are like, I will never go outside without makeup. I will in a heartbeat will go outside because I'm not insecure about my skin because I feel my skin looks nice and that's thank God due to my mother making sure when we was younger that me and my sister took care of our skin so that's what it's all about the lip problem as for my lips I use um, to moisturize is Blistex Lip Medicated you can get this at the drugstore this is what I use for my lips. I don't use Carmex and what everybody else is getting on the hype. I've been using this ever since I was in high school. And it has been doing my lips just fine. So this, that, and that's it. And I put on my makeup. That's all. Exfoliate. I don't put a whole bunch of this, a whole bunch of that. But I can't do that anyway because due to me having... I forgot exactly what it's called when your skin reacts bad to certain things and it's not only just makeup or anything it's my skin in general my skin in general not just my face my body too oatmeal soap and I have to use this medicated lotion I have to always always ever since I was younger so for those out there who think I'm just ranting about how horrible drugstore makeup is no, sometimes I don't want to always go and spend money on expensive makeup. That's why sometimes I do take that chance to go to the drugstore because I want to save some money in my pocket. But if it's not working for me, it's not working for me. What could I do? You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be snooty, you know. It just doesn't work for me. So thanks everybody for watching and talk to you later. Bye.